Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn that how we can create a digital clock using JavaScript. Right? It is very easy and includes a very standard JavaScript concepts. Right? And that we are going to learn today uh, or I say that revise today. Right? So you can see here that this is the basic HTML part. Right? And I have already written the HTML CSS for you. I will explain you the main javascript portion right so in the uh, html portion i'm having a div whose id is clock right and instead of this the content is written that is zero right and yeah after that we are having some css that is for the body right body means the complete web page right so yeah its font family is being set text alignment is set padding from the top is set and the background color is set right uh, yeah after that the clock clock means this particular div Right, this ID. So, uh, whatever the content which appear in the clock, whose uh, its font size is being set, the color, the background color, the padding, the display should be what inline block, right? And the border radius. After that, the box shadow, like this. I hope hope you understood the concept till now, right? So yeah. After uh, this, let's see how it is looking. So it is looking like this, as you can see here, right? A basic thing, basic web page. Uh, this is the basic digital clock. Now you can apply the CSS as per you want, uh, whatever you, the look that you want. You can create it at your own. I'm just explaining you, you the functionality. So let's start the JavaScript portion, right? So yeah. now inside of this, first we will create a function that is function update uh, clock, right? Clock, yeah. Inside of this, we will not inside of this. After this, uh, we will write const now equals to new date. New, uh, what I'm doing, date function, right? New date. Now, what is this uh, new date is giving to me? Okay, let me show you first. So, update clock, let's call this function and let's print this now that is like this right so let's go to the javascript basically the console part right so yeah in the console you can see saturday january 28 2025 means the day the date and the time i'm getting everything when i write date function right it is inbuilt javascript function you can use it in whatever mean you want right so yeah. now after that uh, you can take out the hours minutes seconds from this particular now right how let me show you so we will write let our we will use let because the value will keep getting changed right that's why we cannot use const here so now dot get get what since we want the hours right as we are building our clock say so, get hours after that uh, let let minutes equals to now dot get minutes put the function here right and let second equals to now dot get seconds like this got it now after this we will like add the leading zeros right so we will write hours hours let's no not hours basically that is hour right hour equals to hour less than 10 right put the ternary operator in that particular case you write zero right and plus zero plus hours basically hour that you have basically called here right and then a colon here and we will write hour just up right say like this and similarly we will do it with the uh, minutes and seconds also so let's just copy it and paste it here 
and just write the minutes here minutes okay let me do one thing is that i will just select it d d d and the minutes right so yeah minutes is written here similarly the second also so let's copy it go here select all and paste like this so we have successfully completed the leading zeros right so after that just few things left that is const time string right const time string equals to put a backtick here inside the backtick basically we will uh, first write the hours right so we'll write hours and then colon and then again inside this we will write minutes and then put the gap and again like this inside of this we will write the seconds right so yeah we have created our time string and after that we will write document dot document dot get element by id basically and inside of this our clock right so just copy it and paste it here and after that what we'll do we will change its text content that is dot text content equals to time string like this i hope you understood the functionality till now and then we have called our clock so let's go and see that how it is working so you can see it is clearly visible here right but i think that the second is not running what's the problem here let me check okay so we have not put one of the most important thing here and that is basically that we want to update uh, our clock every second right so for that we need to put the set interval right so set interval bracket inside of this we will write again call the function update clock after every one second right so after every one second this clock will again get called and every data will be shown that's how it will work you can see now it is the second is working after completion of uh, the 60 seconds it will update this now after completion of 60 it will update this right so i hope you understood the concept very clearly that how we can make a digital clock using the javascript uh, it was not very tough but we need to just look at all the basically uh, the main content or the main javascript concept that we get in the javascript right so this is all for today's video thank you so much for watching goodbye